Hello, good morning. It's Tuesday the 19th. I'm FX Plume and we're back after the Easter break. Uh, but old Chancellor Sunak, he's no longer the golden boy of Downing Street, is he? He's facing mounting pressure to step down. A couple of weeks ago, there was the issue over the tax status of his wife. She is, of course, the daughter of an Indian billionaire, and it came out that she was using non-dom status to avoid paying UK tax on her overseas income. Nothing illegal there, but it doesn't look good when hubby's raising tax and national insurance for the rest of the country, does it? Indeed, the main budgetary backlash has been around the insensitivity of the timing of it all. There was no dire urgency for national insurance uh, to be hiked right now, just when households are facing higher costs with the fuel cap increase, inflation at its highest level in a generation, and rising interest rates to deal with all at the same time. Sunak has also been fined over Partygate, the Downing Street scandal. Of course, all the headlines have been focused on Boris, given he's in the big job, but it does mean that if Johnson was forced from office over the Downing Street drinks, Sunak looks unlikely to survive as well. Um, looking ahead, the calendar of market events is pretty quiet this week. Uh, retail sales on Friday is probably the main event, uh, but ahead of that we kick off the four-day week, don't forget, uh, from around 1.30 against the dollar and around 1.2065 against the euro. Um, over in the US, focus has already shifted to the next Fed meeting, due on May the 4th. International Star Wars Day, may the 4th be with you. Um, and current market sentiment um, suggests that further tightening of monetary policy will come in the form of a 50 basis point rate hike and a reduction in the Fed's balance sheet. Um, the Fed's inflation target is 2%, so they're not doing a great job there. But they are also mandated to adopt policies that do not contribute to extreme volatility. And indeed, Wall Street is concerned that an over-aggressive monetary policy could lead the country into recession. Goldman Sachs even puts the chance of recession at around 35% at the moment. Um, so the Fed must not be complacent about any further drop in GDP, uh, especially after how they got it wrong passing off rising inflation as transitory last summer. Um, the dollar index crossed over the 100 level last week. Uh, it struggled to hold on to the gains there, though. Uh, we did touch 101 yesterday in thinner trading due to the bank holiday weekend. Um, and euro dollar kicks off the shorter week, uh, having dropped to about 107.75. Uh, we can expect both to drift a little this week as there's no key data due uh, that may be able to act as a driver. And remember, once again, it's only a four day week. Join me again tomorrow. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.